now. I think Kyrie on the link will be able to clear so much faster. And Annabelle, he's been in this position before. He likes going for the aggressive style. For now, he has the concussive blast. Try and get more clearing speed in the jungle, try and match it. And on the golden, actually. Whoa, CW and Brands. 1v1, it's Beerfy as well. Oh, Brands gets a shield, he gets the shot down as well. Brands, a win early on for Evos. Beautiful, right? The snowball that is required from the Roger, the fact that he was able to get a kill early on, it will help Brands to be that driving force. The stampede into the iron hook, but the recalls, and Sun survives. Not press at all. The fact that Brands also went to the Master Assassins here, we can see in the emblems by Games Max. That's why he's getting a bit of that edge. Where CW not going for, not intending to go for a lot of these one v ones technically, and Kyrie going for the the usual Ling Elmo setup. But we not doing anything too crazy. Keep away with the firmness and tenacity though leads me to believe that he's gonna be the main frontline, and Lutpi might be the one just waiting in the wings for a big massive penalty zone. We'll see the wave clear happening from Suns on the Angela. Keyboy is there to help clear out the lane. It looks like a little bit of a snail stalemate. Annabelle looking to make his mark. He does get the taunt down and knock up, but Keyboy just dashes out. See the hard hook though. Connects. And just like that, dreams. Oh, oh Keyboy! Boy! What? How? There's the firmness, the tenacity and the skills, the speed. It won't be a pickup, but that's a great swing in tempo for Evos. They're going straight for the turtle. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be an answer from Onik. Just the turtle, take it away. Lupi not going for that penalty zone. Not just yet. Turtle and one kill so far. Two minutes in for Evos glory. Are you not tired of asking the question how? How this, how that? Fnatic Onik brands though, looking to get very aggressive onto Kyrie there. Doesn't necessarily commit onto it just yet, but it does seem like the same story over and over, right? Evo's glory always with the early objective trades. Fnatic Onik looking for the kills, but so far they haven't found it just yet. Look at the difference in the farming for Kyrie whenever he does not get to actually contest for the mutual objectives. He is completely at home, just farming up a storm. Not really having the most insane of goal differences, but for now, still a, a great plus, but he's gonna be zoned away right here. Again, Luffy, he's gonna be caught. The hard guard is just going to be used to hover on him, Fluffy. With two of those straights, and the hard guard still won't be popped just yet. Luffy flickers out, but will be slain. Seems Sans was not interested to hard guard his friend. <laughs> Just completely ignore him there. Gonna actually go for the recalls as well. And now it looks like Evos are actually gonna circle up into the top lane. Gonna be able to get a little bit of more gold in for bronze and try to facilitate that snowball from Whoa. happening. On the side of the map though, Fluffy on that Potato, on that winning lane. That aggression is gonna be having a lot of impact, but now Dreams goes for the purple buff. Great iron buff, but oh, Kyrie still is able to take it, Sans now. Forcing Dreams to flicker forward. Anavo oh. dashes in front. Fraser's wrath on the Keyboy, but he will not be able to find most of that value. The Netherrealm by Clock on an Iron Hook as well with Bloody Hot now canceling and stopping Kyrie. But it'll go around Wolf King and now to Tether Blades. Kyrie goes in. David Fluffy comes in from the flanks to pick up only one. He only got one. Kyrie and Keyboy survive. What? How did he do that? Kyrie. He was destined to die there under the turret. He got hooked. Everything was thrown at him. CW trying to fend for himself as well in the top lane. But he gets out, denies that pickup. Oh. And meanwhile, Floppy goes in for a solo kill onto Kyrie. Great exchanges here from Evos. But man, Kyrie on the Ling is just something else. Berserker's Fury completed for him, but right now, Evos are the ones holding control. An unfamiliar situation we've seen in the past three games. Dreams with the sliding iron hook won't be finding anyone. And for now, it's just that the threat of the engage is still that deadly. But later on, in the mid game, that's where the Ling here can be just roaming around, can be split pushing with the global Angela presence. Evos need to recognize that they have to try and do something before it reaches that point. So neutral objective takes have been controlled by Evo's glory. 
But with CW on the CC, does that mean that they can still also translate it into the late game? Or is there a window for Evos to also find a way in the late game? What do you know? Fanatic Onyx just, try, they defend that purple guy. Okay. Well, funny enough, for the side of Fnatic Onyx, the fact that it's a Roger, right, not exactly the insane late game high damage carry, like a carry, or, or like a Harriet maybe even, maybe the CC can still match up to the damage dealing, but in this case, you can't really target with the CC. You can't really focus anyone down, so it has to be a full-on, either a pick-off attempt at a single target, or it has to be just random damage to everyone around you. So in that sense, Brands will have a lot more safety, a lot more security, unless of course Kyrie is tasked with just ensuring that he does not get to have any impact in a fight. So we saw the items earlier as well, Arashi. Between CW and Brands, what's, what's the situation here? But for no Brands will still have the advantage later on when there's a bit more tankiness to supplement the sustain that the CC has in the 1v1. Maybe then something will be different. Oh. Fluffy wants the box. Oh, Dreams! Oh. Wow! What a hook by Dreams! Came out of nowhere, and that's the Franco in the hands of Dreams. Can't underestimate it. And with that play, Evo's pulling further in the gold advantage now. Going for a fight here, but a 3k gold lead, they're going straight for the turtle as well. Look at Puffy. So flanking Dreams, not able to find that iron hook, Lip P. Clockwood was able to dodge everything from Lip P. Keyboy walking in the front, gets caught. That's a three-man turn into the penalty zone now. Curtain call as well, but Purify gets him out. Keyboy still in the midst of it all, and they are all clumped up. Appraiser's last! Annabelle finds it, but look at the damage coming from GW and Lip P, but Puffy continues to show how this Paquito is a big threat. Sun's forced to flick around Evo's glory, three to one. Wow, and they're gonna be able to get a lot more space on the neutral objective. Fluffy still on the way to put that pressure on top of CW. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, my guy. CW has got to start respecting that. And as well, that buff does get taken away in the hands of a snowballing brand already 2-0-2. Too much control, too much safety. The Netherrealm was forced out from Clawkun, but in the end, there's still enough damage traded back from Evos to really get ahead in that fight. Power wave from Fluffy, though, is definitely something that's so difficult to deal with. And Lupi is struggling to match his impact. Even though in these big fights, the penalty zone technically should have more to say compared to something like a knockout strike. So disruptive. Dreams over and over, delaying these buffs from happening. Oh no! No! The disrespect from Annabelle there. He stole the orange buff away from Kyrie, and Kyrie's left with nothing. Already, it's still on the same level though, so all things considered, not the worst situation for Kyrie, but he's been denied his buffs, and from the looks of it, with this composition, every single time the purple buff is up, everyone will be having their eyes on the prize. For Ryan Onyx, it feels like they can really get an advantage when they can try and go for that split play with the Angela. But Evos are making sure that every single objective that can be used to force Fnatic Onyx into a 5v5 fight, they will use. And even 1v1, 2,400 gold ahead. That is fluffy with the Malefic War, with the Sea Halberd as well. He is geared up to try and 1v1 at Terizla. Oh, another oh. Iron Hook there by Dreams. No flicker committed this time, only by Fluffy. Able to escape now, clearing the wave once again, and Evo's glory wants to take this purple buff away from Fnatic. Onyx, I'm offended. On to Annabelle, the retribution not on point for Kyrie. It's more, it's better for Annabelle and Keyboy. Just flickers out. Again, they shut down onto Kyrie. We were hyping up the Ling Angela, the Angel Ling combination, but it looks like Evo's glory have done a spectacular job of shutting it completely down. The dominance over the jungle. No purple buffs, no orange buffs at this point for Kyrie. Annabelle just always lurking in the midst. Do so they have a fighting chance here? Dreams was just hunting for another play there. They go on Annabelle. I'm offended onto Annabelle. Some good poke as well from CW, but then Prazor's Wrath onto the orange oh. buff in Annabelle. Even without the retribution, steals it away. CW gonna be locked down by the ton and the stamp. He brings the back bench, just not going to be useful at all. They got locked down completely. Dreams with a bloody hunt. 
and Brands takes that double. 3-4-0 trade in for the White Tigers, the people's champions. Finally, the support is kicking in and it's going at full speed. A Lord free for Evo's glory as Dreams looks to run Kyrie down. The pressure is getting to them as they look to push in in the 10th, 11th minute of the game. 9K gold lead. With the gold, you can see a bit of disrespect from Evos. Clock and just solo cutting the wave to ensure that they can go for the turret. Dreams though, lurking on the sides, waiting for an opportunity. Just to find that one good hook. Alright, gonna be a bit of suspense there. But Brands now with a full inventory slot with a great Dragon Spear. How to turn tables. Now he's the one on the Roger with that damage, with the burst potential. And Fnatic Onyx, without a lot of DPS, they can't really match a proper 5v5. But Kyrie also has no options in a 1v1. How do they defend this? They want in for CC. The range is so limited. And Evos have been able to capitalize over the fact. Oh. So close onto Keyboy there, but doesn't quite get it. The Lord is still going in for the Siege in the top lane. So the first Lord going, the Torch Clash as well, still there for Fnatic Onyx. Bad wave clear for them, that's an Iron Hook and a Flicker combo into the Bloody Hunt, they go, and Annabelle stops him, isolates Luffy, still able to flicker out, Fluffy! It was straight, now we're not gonna strike, and is able to dash twice defensively into the back. Iron Hook again from Dreams! Keyboy with Iron Fed and his own run, Wolfkey Annabelle gonna be taken very, very low, forcing that Nether Realm out, but CW has used the Vengeance too. Now both teams reset. That was a bold move from Evos, going for a big Iron Hook pickoff play with the Flicker on a Terizla. He was able to survive, but Onik, respecting the Nether Realm, did not go for the re engage. And now we're losing a base turret. They're just scrambling to try and find something, to try and get a chase. For the most part, Evos are still in the driver's seat. With Annabelle picking up the Immortal, they're gonna keep doing this, using Annabelle as the main frontline with so many ways to save him, to protect him if things go south. It's been so perfect for Evo's glory. They've been able to capitalize over the lack of range and it's a power pick for a reason, for Dreams. You think Franco, you also think Dreams. He's been able to find so many opportunities, so many loopholes. They create an uneven battlefield. And there's a reason why so many teams up against Evo's glory go for the respect for Dreams. They take away the Kajas, they take away the Francos. And even Fnatic on it, the team that has gone 3-0 so far in such a dominant fashion, mind you. The defending champions are struggling against Evo's glory in this fourth game. Well, on the bright side for the side of Fnatic Onyx, level 15 Kyrie has a chance to go for some kind of retry steal, but everyone else on his team is severely behind. So it's gonna be a bit of a waiting game, but with the Lord th threatened, potentially taken by Evos, that could be enough. We usually talk about the 10k gold mark being the, the, the point where you can just go in and break the base with brute force. And Onyx realize it, recognize it, but look at where Fluffy is. Oh, Dreams! Ooh. That's a flicker now, a taunt from Annabelle. No flicker for Dreams, he buys the Immortality now. 10,000 gold leads still in favor of Evos, and they're holding on to this Lord. They're not letting it reset. In the bottom lane, the wave already crashing, slow pushing, but it's gonna be built back by Fnatic Onyx towards Evos. Fnatic Onyx desperately trying to go for this reset on the Lord, and Annabelle will fight for it. CW has the hard guard, now goes into the back line. Look, being able to find Brands and Kyrie chasing him in the back. Like in Pounce, dealing so much damage, Dreams. There, Annabelle secures the Lord! And CW still dealing damage, Annabelle very, very low. Look, P's and is gonna be popping. Sluffy jumps into the back, but I'm offended, connects. And Look, will fall. That's an unstoppable for Brands. And Evo's glory, now it's their time. They've completely taken it back into their hands. In game number four, the people's champions, the chosen ones. And look outside, man, the crowd is absolutely insane. That is outside, correct? It's that is outside. Inside the arena. Yeah. That is the amount of people that want to see this conclusion. And Evos are about to strike back, crack open the base. Can they go for more? They look to the skies and they see the Sky Kings, but this time it's them on the attack. Iron Hook only onto the minion wave. And how have Fnatic Onyx done it? How have they defended 
with a composition like this. Still another wave though. And Evo's glory, it seems they cannot. They cannot push forward, they cannot siege the Kingdom of the Sky Kings. The longer the game goes though, it's gonna be less and less important, this gold lead. 12k as of right now, it seems like this is gonna be a moment for Ambrosio go and go for a play. And if caught in the midst of it all, the penalty zone locks him down. Another realm gonna be baited out as well. Look, Pete. Getting that photo shielding, CW getting the heart guard. He does have, he doesn't have the Curtis call actually. He's already used it earlier. And Keyboy wants to go for more. They're gonna be poked down now as the Bloody Hunt comes down. But CW will be obliterated by Brass Fluffy now with a knock out down to the back. But Kyrie finds Annabelle. Jumping on the Brands, top of the blades, used up Kyrie. Base, base. One, two, but now the base is wide open and Brands has picked up a double kill. You flip the coin this time, you get Mr. Fantastic. Brands, seven, oh, and four. Academy in the mid lane. Three, force a flicker back is now it's gonna be Lippy who tries to go for the desperate defense, but they all get locked down. One last penalty zone, and it will not be a clean sweep. Evo's glory, fight back. The People's Champions force a game, number five from the defending champions who have already gone a three to zero. Ladies and gentlemen, this just speaks volume to the mentality of Evo's glory. And we have so many examples of it this season. In the regular season, they came back from a minus seven match point deficit.